loves welcome back so today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul most of the things like 90% of the things are that I got are from Target and then I got like three other things from Walmart that I just wanted to throw in here but I'm super excited because I feel like I have not been to the drugstore in such a long time and a lot of the things that I got are repurchases and then other things are just things that I've had my eye on for a while and I just wanted to finally try out and pick up. So, I actually just got done filming this video, literally probably like a half hour ago, and uh, okay. the story behind this is that I went to edit the video and I imported the footage and everything and I got to about three minutes into the video when I was editing and I had lipstick on my teeth. The top and the bottom, it wasn't like a little speck, it was like a big chunk and I was like, oh my gosh, like I cannot put a video up if I'm not happy with it, especially if I have something in my teeth, because A, that's not cute. B, having lipstick on the teeth is very distracting, and I don't, honestly, I don't like when people upload videos like that because it just takes away from what you're actually talking about. So I was like, you know what, I'd rather not even put up a video or just redo it, so I'm redoing it for you guys. So the reason for me telling you that is because a lot of the stuff that I got is like already opened, and I'm so sorry, but I just can't put up a video that I'm not happy with, so. I'm redoing it, but that's okay. So if you guys want to know what all the goodies that I got are, then please keep watching. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and begin. I'm not really going to go in any particular order. The first thing is the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Silky Pencil Eyeliner. This is in the shade Highlighter. It's number 230. <laughs> Look at that packaging, like really, this is like a depiction of my life currently. But this is just a really nice like nude pink eyeliner. And I thought this was so pretty, I don't own anything like this. And I've tried white eyeliners and um, like nude eyeliners, but this is just very different because it's pink. And I feel like with this eye look that I have going on right now that's like purpley pink, I think it would be really pretty on the waterline. So this is just a really gorgeous highlighter color. Where is it at? Right there. So you can see it's just a nice like metallic-y baby pink nude shade and I think that's going to look gorgeous on the waterline. L'Oreal liners are usually very creamy and pigmented. The only thing is with the black ones, they tend to smear underneath my um, lower lashes, which I don't like. But for the most part, I love L'Oreal liners. Okay, I'm trying to hold it up the best that I can, but then I got the Milani, um, I think this is like the brow pomade. This one's in the shade medium brown. I feel like I should have got like a darker color but I'm going to make it work, hopefully. If not, I'll try and return it, but this is what it looks like. I'm really into pomades this year. I don't know what it is. I used to like brow pencils, and then I got into powders, but now I like pomades. I think that they last longer, and they make your eyebrows look really nice. This also comes with a little brush and spoolie. It's like double-ended, which I think is always really, really nice. So I'm excited. If you guys maybe want like a video on this or something, let me know. Then I got this Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter. This one is in the shade Rose Champagne Glow. So this is what it looks like. This a lot of these products aren't really new. The drugstore didn't have a ton of new things. They're just like things that I wanted to try out for a long time. So this is just a highlighter. Obviously, I guess you could use it as a blush for like a very natural color. But this is a very natural highlight. It's not going to be anything like really opaque like Champagne Pop. You can see it's very, very light and natural. I don't really know how I feel about that because I usually like highlighters that are very intense that you can like see them. Like right now I have Champagne Pop on. Duh. So I'll let you guys know about this. I'll probably maybe use like a mist or something on my brush and then apply it so that it's more like um, dewy. But I'll definitely keep you guys posted. All right, next I picked up some lashes. I love eyelashes and it's kind of like a good and bad thing because I feel like I can't do my makeup without wearing false lashes, which is not good. But th these are the Vegas Nay Allure lashes. So I guess she's like an Instagrammer and this is what it looks like. Um, I'm really happy with the first pair of Eyelore lashes that I picked up. I got them at Ulta like a month ago and I'm obsessed with them. They're like number 26. They're the ones with the orange packaging. They're so fluffy and full and I love how black the lashes and the band of the lashes is because I feel like it just really completes the eye look and makes everything pop. So I'm really excited about these. They do look pretty big. I'm probably going to have to cut them, but that's not really a big deal. But I'll definitely probably use these in an upcoming makeup tutorial by the way I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial on this eye look because um, a lot of you guys have been asking me to and I was planning on it anyways because I've been using the Carly Bible palette and I'm loving it so 
Then I picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I got two of these. These are repurchases. I probably bought like 100 of these in my lifetime. They're amazing. They're so creamy. They never get cakey and they give you the most amazing coverage. So I got a light shade. This one's in 20 Sand. It's just like a yellowy light color just to highlight underneath my eyes. And then I got 35 Deep and I'm going to be using this to contour. So if you're in the market for some new concealers, I definitely recommend Maybelline. They have probably some of the best from the drugstore, hands down. Next, of course, I picked up my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. If you watch my videos, I mean, this is like my staple item. I cannot do my makeup without this liner. Another really good one is the NYC one, but the reason I like this one so much better is because of how tiny the brush is. It just makes it that much easier to do your winged liner. It's the blackest, creamiest, best eyeliner I've ever tried in my life. No joke. I'm probably never going to switch because this is only $3. So like, why would I spend more when I know that this is like the best? Do you know what I mean? So then I got the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I have heard Kathleen Lights talking about this. I love her, by the way. But she talked about this. I forget in what video it was. Um, but I wanted to just give it a try. I've heard good things about it. So I just wanted to... Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. It's like a little baby. Huh? That's adorable. So I'm going to probably try this out and maybe if I like it, it'll be in a makeup tutorial. This is what it looks like. I'm all about having a nice highlighted under eye, so I'm really excited. I like the e.l.f. HD powder, so I, get, I don't really know what the difference would be. I guess this is maybe specifically for the under eye. So. Then I picked up actually two skincare products. This is the Boots Expert Anti-Blemish 2-in-1 Scrub and Mask. This is my holy grail face wash currently. I've been using this for the past couple of months and I'm loving it. If you guys want to check out my skincare routine, I'll leave it posted below. So many of you guys have been complimenting me on my skin and it means so much to me. Thank you guys. You're amazing. But um, yeah, that's this is what I've been using. This with my Clarisonic and I feel like it's just been doing wonders. I recently tried out a new face wash by the brand Deja Vu. It's basically one of those brands where they're sold at the mall, like whenever you're walking in, they have like those stands. Ugh, worst mistake, because it gave me all this texture on my chin, also like on my cheeks right here. I like broke out with these little bumps and it just burned my skin when I applied the face wash. It was terrible, so I was like, uh-uh, I have to go back to my normal face wash. This is like six bucks and I love it. It's very creamy and it goes on and lathers really nicely on the face but it's gentle at the same time, but it still cleans my face. So I just really love it. And then I wanted to pick up a new moisturizer because I have been using the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Serum. It's like a gel cream moisturizer, which I love, but I've been using that pretty much the entire year of 2015, and I wanted to just give something else a try. That one's very pricey also, and I wanted to just kind of see if this one would be any good because I love the face wash so much. So it's the Boots Expert Sensitive Hydrating Moisturizer. This was only like five bucks, so I was like, let me just give it a try. And my skin has been pretty like weird lately. It's been dry on this area and then oily, or then some days it'll be like all dry. Like, ah, it's just so weird. So I wanted to just try this moisturizer out. It looks very creamy, so I'm excited. I'm gonna use this tonight when I'm done getting a shower and I wash my face. I can't wait to use it. All right, then I picked up the Rimmel Scandalize uh, Black Eyeliner just in the shade black. I just needed a good black eyeliner for my waterline and my upper waterline because I haven't had much luck recently with trying to find a good one. They all smudge or they smear or they just fade throughout the day. So I'm hoping this one is good. I don't think, I, I don't know if I tried this. I tried the retractable one and it was okay. So I just wanted to try the pencil one. And why am I out of breath? Relax. Okay, this is what it looks Ooh, it's very creamy. This is what it looks like. I'm like not even finishing my sentences because Makeup makes me like that. It makes me excited. So it's just a nice black eyeliner. Then I picked up the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This is a repurchase. I love this tinted brow gel. And I have one and I've had it for like months and it's like still going strong on me. It has not ran out. But I was like, maybe I should get a new one because it's probably been like six months and I've been using the same one. So this one's in medium to dark. Keeps my eyebrows in place all day. They do not budge. And sometimes I have a problem with my eyebrow hairs like moving down because they tend to get long when they grow out. This just 
helps them so much to just stay in place. So I love this one. If you guys are looking for a good brow gel, I definitely recommend this one. They also have a clear one, but I like tinted ones better. And I love how tiny that brush is because it just makes it very easy to get in there and just touch up the brow. So definitely recommend this one. And then this is another repurchase. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I love this mascara and I don't even have long eyelashes and it works really good for me, especially my bottom lashes. So if you have long lashes, this is going to be bomb on you. The wand is very interesting. It's like a very thin wand, but it really is good at separating and lengthening your eyelashes. So this is another one that you need to run out and get and it's super black, which I love. Then I have the NYX Eyebrow Pencil. Again, Kathleen Lights talked about this. Clearly I'm obsessed with her. And um, as she talked about how this, I think this is the one she was talking about. This is a dupe for the Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz. I didn't really like that one too much. I didn't think it was anything special. So I wanted to give this a try. This was only like $4, so I was really impressed because normally NYX stuff can be a little bit pricey. So I got the shade Dark Brown. Oh, that looks really nice, actually. It looks right there. So I'm probably going to use this to outline my brows and then use the pomade to fill in the rest of my brows. Sometimes I have a trouble, I have a trouble, I have trouble talking and sometimes I have trouble like making a really precise line um, because of my the way my eyebrows are. Like some days they're just not behaving and they don't want to cooperate with me. So I wanted just a good like brow pencil to really sculpt them out nicely. So I'll keep you guys posted with everything that I'm talking about. Then I picked up another recommendation from Kathleen Lights. She did a video um, talking about different dupes, and she mentioned the MAC uh, paint pots. I believe she did painterly. I don't really remember, but she mentioned that the color tattoos from Maybelline are basically the exact same thing, so I was like, let me try them. This is super random because these have been out for years, and I'm just now hopping on the bandwagon. So I picked up the shade Barely Branded, which is just like the nude color, because I wanted to use this as like my eyeshadow primer. So let's see if this is any good. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like soft ochre, but this has a little bit, it looks like, like moussey consistency. Let's see how it is. That is what it looks like. This is almost has like a little bit of a sheen to it. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I will definitely try it out and then I'll let you guys know if this is a dupe. For the paint pots, that's amazing because this is like $6 and then the paint pots are like $24, I think. So I'm going to choose my pants if this is a tube. I hope it is. I'm excited. Okay. So then I got two lipsticks that I really didn't need. Um, this one is just from the Kate Collection by Rimmel, the black packaging. I love these lipsticks. I have tried them before and they're very creamy and pigmented. This one is in the number 08 or... Eight zero, however you want to look at it but this is just a really pretty like mauvey nude taupe color which I love so so pretty and I love that pink tint that it has yeah and they're very pigmented they usually always are so I love them has a really nice smell too I love Rimmel lipsticks and then I picked up this one by hard candy um, I've seen these before but I've never really gave them a try just because I was like eh, I don't really know how good they're gonna be but I wanted to pick this one up because the color was really pretty and right up my alley it's in the shade admired number 853 and the packaging looks really pretty and sleek and these were only five dollars I got these at Walmart so this is what it looks like it's this color right here. So it's kind of like the same one that I just swatched, but this one has a more like corally peach tint to it. But it's very, very creamy and pigmented. So I like how like it has like a sheen, like a glossy, creamy feel to it. So I'm very, very impressed so far. And these smell just like MAC lipsticks, like that vanilla cupcake smell. Yes, amazing. All right, I think that is everything that I got, and I hope I don't have any lipstick in my teeth anymore. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything for my drugstore makeup haul. Again, I apologize that some of this stuff was open, but I had to refilm this for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know of some new things that you guys have tried. I really wanted to just go out and repurchase some of my favorites. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week, and also be sure to follow me on my social media so you guys can keep up with me and check out all the things that I post. So I love you all and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye! Mwah.